Does the Wallow watch it in horror as the coveted god glacier rapidly melted to completely surround the desert town? Some seems blame the town's industrial development, others blame the new fashion district hoarding the remaining natural resources. Can the poorest seems bridge the wealth gap or will the wealth thrive while the peasants lose it all? Hello baby boys and welcome to Crazy Sims, my name is Crazy Darby, I'm from Strange Town and this is Dusty Wallow by Rikowski. Yes, this Rikowski, okay? So Rikowski, the creator, already have a video on Dusty Wallow in his channel, um, you know, introducing the word and stuff and uh, this photo was actually made in his early years, actually his YouTube channel early years, um, you know, he was reaching a thousand subscribers or something by the time this was released and since i love custom hoods i know of dust wallow for some time now and i decided to make this video because i love rikowski i love his humor he is so edgy uh, over the top dramatic and shade like myself so we have a lot in common i love his mind and I can tell that the Wallon is probably amazing as well. So he divided this hood in four districts. Here we have the industrial district where like the poorest Sims live. Um, you know, they are like um, super poor and you know, that is why they live here, you know. And then we have this other area where like um, also poor people live, but they are not as poor. They are not like brand broke poor. They are just, you know, poor and stuff so yeah and here we have the um not as poor as the others but they are like still poor but they are like rising a little bit you know they are almost not poor i guess uh or something and you know there is um fancier houses and stuff like that so yes and then we have the fashion district here this is looking very like dramatic and over the top like i was saying before because you know the fashion industry it is like that i guess so it just makes sense it is looking also fancier and a little bit more green you know because they can afford to have nature when nature was already like destructed or destroyed yes that's better anyway english is not my first language so you know excuse me and yes so these are the four like divisions of dust wall of the map is a pre-made map by ea if i'm not mistaken so this is not like a very unique map but the way that it was decorated and the concept behind it you know they uh, became an island due to climate changes and stuff this is very original and creative so i love and now we are ready to, uh, you know, check on the families and hopefully discover a little bit more of the Dusty Wallons lore and characters and stuff. Yeah, so, you know, let's do it. Frankie has been mooching off of his sister Frankie for a few months too long. She has better things to worry about, like her son Vincenzo acting out or the arson is responsible for her husband's death. So what I love about custom hoods is that murder is always involved, you know, this is so cool. And there is a lot of drama potential here. Also, I love the name uh, Lombardi because this is a very popular name in Brazil and I can actually pronounce it. So thank you. And by the way, there is some like custom uh, content in Dusty Wallow that was not required for the download, so I didn't. And so I guess the Sims will be looking, yes, like I was saying, a little bit different, you know. Okay, so actually before we go um, into the Sims, let's take a closer look in this beautiful build, you know? I knew for a fact that Rico's had some strong opinions about building and stuff because, you know, his channel is basically that, you know, he's sharing his opinions on builds and stuff. But I was not aware that he could build as well, you know, it just makes a sense, I know, but I was not aware. And this is looking so good. I really like this house because it is pretty, but at the same time, it is really like realistic and down to the earth, you know what I'm saying? 
like it just looks very um cool and uh, you know like i said realistic this is something that really matters to me i guess um this is frank's bedroom obviously it is looking good as well we have a bedroom here then other bedroom here we have uh the baby boy's uh, bedroom uh, you know, it is a second floor, um, home, two floor, home, I don't know how do you call it. Um, then the first floor we have here, uh, Frank, yes, his name is Frank as well. They are brothers and they are, they are siblings actually, and they both are named Frank, basically. So this is Frank, uh, Frank's brother Frank bedroom. Okay, that was hard to say. We have here, um kitchen with an open concept so we have the kitchen and the diner table the dining table we have another bedroom here and we have this beautiful living room and we have this you know we have here a lot of space for like maybe a pool or something and we have also like um frankie's dead husband here okay he is buried here okay let's talk about uh the seams so because i reset the lot um frank's hair um changed okay uh, anyway um when it comes down about their faces i don't think they look very unique i don't think because you pay um too much attention about um their face traits and stuff but I will say that I love the way that the seams are looking when it comes down to their outfits. It just um, suits them so well. This is what I would do as well, I guess. So we share um, the same taste in clothes. Good. Um, the seams here feature bios and memories and everything like relations and stuff. But um, their family trees um, does not go any longer than, you know, the seams created in Create a Seam, I guess at the least for the Lombardi family. I reset the lot again. This is why her wear is looking um, different again. So basically, well, uh, when it comes down to memories in Dust Wallow, they are pretty basic and standard, you know, these are the memories from Create a Sim. And then, you know, there is also like a lot of memories about um, them knowing other people around town. And there is even like pleasant view townies here also every seam of dusty wallow have a want or a fear locked in okay so that was because way of like representing um scripted events for this hood which is a nice touch you know this this is really cool this um can help you figure out where this seems is going um when the game starts and stuff so that's a nice touch and even though the family bio suggests that Frank is mooching off of his sisters, of his sister, they are both unemployed when the game starts and they don't have a lot of money either. So I don't know <laughs> why he's mooching off of her, but that's probably because, you know, uh, they don't have any parents or other relatives. So she's the only one. And I love this idea for a pleasure sim, you know, it just makes sense. And that was the Lombardi family, guys. I think we are ready to um, jump into another one. The skins have cut it rough since Becky was disowned for her teenage pregnancy. Can she make it work for her and her daughter Liberty despite the neighbor's hood recent downfall? Okay, so this is the skinned household and honestly, this is not the poorest area in Tsao, even though like it looks like right um yeah and they only have 31 simoleons so maybe i was wrong i think this is actually the extremely poor area um in dust wallow but i'm not sure so as you can tell like the house is really small and all of the furnitures in this house are the cheapest ones also, I feel like Rikos picked these colors because um, these are probably like um, his least favorite ones. This is very like the type of thing that he criticizes in EA builds. I'm not going to say that this looks pretty because it doesn't, obviously. But I guess, um, you know, that was his intention. And there is, a, there, is a, there is even like a bus stop here. So, you know, they are poor. Um... <laughs> and i can say that okay because i'm poor in real life as well anyway um but i like the house because it looks realistic um now let's um you know check the scenes um this is becky and this is a liberty 
let's check their family tree real quick um yeah just both of them so i guess they were created in um create a sim um their memories let's check and okay so she have a piece of lore here in her memories okay that is basically um that she burned a uh, mac and cheese and that um started a fire but other than that these are you know the standard creator sim memories like i was saying before she have the one locked in to get married and the baby liberty she have the one locked in to get party trained she's actually doing really bad right now she's a hotting regret i don't even know what that is um so yeah um and she is jobless so she have 31 simoleons and she is jobless that's not a good sight at all for the um, skin household she does not have any skills or talent badges so i love how dramatic and over the top this is looking because you know Brent Broke is supposed to be a uh, poor, but she's not really poor. Like you can sell a lot of things in her house to make more money. And here, well, everything that they own, they kind of uh, need, you know, even like the uh, books, book staircase. I don't know if that's the way you call it. Anyway, you need it because uh, Beck will be needing to have to get a job, you know, and she will be needing to improve her skills and stuff. Also, like uh, cooking skills really need. And yeah, I'm not reading bios this season only because I'm trying to keep things a little bit more dynamic, but I'm going to read her bio. So um, her bio reads, kicked out by her family, Beck decided that her daughter was more important than keeping up appearances. Being a teen mom until now has been a challenge, but Beck never had it easy anyway. Will she raise a liberty as Alba herself or will she have the perfect marriage she always dreamed of? So, you know, she's a family scene and she wants to get married. She was a teenager mom. Um, also, this is something that could be um, better represented in her memories. You know, she could be um, a teenager mom in her memories uh, because she was actually... <laughs> an adult mom here okay and even like the ages are probably not matching so this is like something that i would like to see Rikowski paying attention even so i feel like dusty wallow was probably a lot of work to do and it shows off you know because this code is actually so much fun it is really like dramatic over the top chaotic and shady but it's still realistic in some ways and that is uh, like the combo that I love, you know. Um, now let's check other family. Let's go to the industrial district and see what is happening there. That has just stricken the Watts family. Will they be able to continue on without their matriarch? And will the family ever discover her humiliating secret? Okay, so I was definitely wrong, you know, this is not the poorest area of the city. I thought it was the poorest area because honestly, I would hate to live um, next to the industrial side of my city, you know, but that's not the poorest area at all. You can tell by their house and also like they do not have just 31 simoleons, you know, like the previous family. Also, like, I can tell by this house that it was made by the same person who did um, the other houses, which is nice. I'm saying this in a nice way, you know, of, like, um, Wikowski is really remarkable with his aesthetic style and taste. And, yeah, I love it. It looks realistic. It looks simple, straight to the point, because, you know, like I was saying before, um, Dusty Wallow is realistic in many ways, so, you know, that's how this house is looking. And we have another, like, bus stop here, so, you know, there is a lot, a lot of, like, nice touches about this hood that I'm trying to, um, uh, pick. <laughs> and, yeah, I love it. Um, this is a second floor house. Um, this is obviously the second floor, and then we have the first one. I love how this kitchen is looking, guys. It is looking so good. Um, and everyone starts like shit, basically, you know? The little boy, uh, Troy, is stomping cro cockroaches. Um, the man, Maurice, is crying, you know, probably because his wife is dead. 
this is such a nice touch as well and the baby is crying and screaming but yeah that's their house you know um his wife is dead and buried here so i guess um dust wallow does not feature a graveyard but that's fine anyway you know there is not a lot of dead seams here in this town even though you know with the climate changes and everything <laughs> there will be probably so anyway um we are ready to check the seams now this is Maurice Watts, the father and the widow. Um, he is a knowledge sim and he have the wand locked in to fall in love. So I forgot to check if the lifetime ones were chosen. Okay, so probably not because his lifetime uh, wand is to become education minister and he works in the science career. So he already has some skills, that's fine. And he mem his memories indicate that a lot of bad things happened before um, Melanie died. I wonder if she died because you don't clean your house, sir, you know? I don't know why so many cockroaches are in this household. Maybe because they live near um, the industry and stuff. Um, this is the baby boy, Troy Watts, you know? He also remembers a lot of cockroaches, that's disgusting. And the baby girl, a bunny. Uh, thank God she didn't. She never had any contact with um, cockroaches. Okay. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, the family is composed by four members. One deceased. Uh, once more, the family tree is just the regular one from Create a Sim. That's fine anyway. Um, let me read the patriarch's bio. Let's see if you can, if we can discover the secret of Melanie, or if she took it to the grave. Um, still overcome with grief from the death of his wife, can Morris pull it together to save his kids from a green future? So here there is uh, nothing about her secret. Let me check um, Troy's bio. Um, Troy never got very, Troy never got very attached with his mother before the passed away. Will he be able to su succeed in the li in life while coping with his loss? So I don't know if that's an English mistake. Uh, I think it is supposed to be got very attached with his mother. Um, I don't know if that was a mistake because, you know, English is not my first language. So who am I to correct? But maybe that was an overlooking. And now let's check uh, Babe Girl Ebony's bio. So her bio reads, Ebony will be too young to remember her mother. Will she be able to grow up well uh, with just her father left in the, pic in the picture? So once more, there is nothing that I can uh, relate to her secret, which makes me a lot curious. So Rikoski, if you are watching, please comment her secret, okay? Because I want to know what is so humiliating about. And that was the was household, guys. Finally, the fashion district, you know, this is where I belong, or this is where I would like to belong, actually, but anyway. The billing words are known for two things, money and bratty attitudes. Will they continue to keep up appearances, or is their place near the type of society in jeopardy? Okay, so wow, they live in a mansion, guys. It is looking really good. Okay, so I already in I'm already in love with this view, you know, of these windows and the way that they are displayed. I don't think I have ever seen this in the game. That's because you know I don't build a lot. Uh, anyway, this house is looking really good, like really also like dramatic, you know. They are they are not as rich as I thought they were because they only featured 2,000 simoleons, but their house is expensive 100%. That is this pool. We have actually three floors. So when someone have a house of three floors, we know that this person is rich, okay? Um, let's check um, what is happening here. Okay, so this is probably um, Milan's bedroom, yes. She have even like... What is the name of that? I forgot now. But they have this uh, place, a uh, top place, you know, where you can even like see the sea. Um, so, you know, this is really nice looking. Um, let me, okay. Yes, there is decoration. You know, the bedroom is looking fine as well. I love it. Um, let's see the second floor. Okay, so here we have um dick <laughs> dick's bedroom probably uh his bedroom also a piano 
um, um, an office. This is giving me really like that house from Sunset Valley of the Wolf family. Anyway, and then we have the first floor, which is also looking great and really expensive and rich. You know, I can tell that this family have a lot of money. I wonder what is this um, room is supposed to be actually. I'm not, not sure if I understand it. It looks like maybe um, like when your sims wants um, to buy something and then you just buy a lot of things but you don't have any place to place them. So yeah, I don't know. And here is the kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen is looking amazing as well. So once more, I can see Rico's um, work here. You know, he is very... Um, like I was saying before, remarkable with his taste and preferences and style. So good job. I love the house. And now let's check the Sims. Okay, so this is Milan Billings Ward. And let me start by saying that she does not look like she belongs in this beautiful house, okay? I'm not talking about, of course, like genetic wise or her face traits. I'm talking about her hair, her makeup, and even her dress that she's not wearing right now. So I don't know. Uh, she is a popularity sim. She have the one to lock in to obtain a pet. And, you know, this does not say a lot about her. So let's check her memories. Um, yeah, okay, there is, you know, nothing to it. Um, he, she is unemployed right now. She does look like she is unemployed. Um, she knows some people around town, not a lot of people. And she is the daughter, of course, of Dick. And when it comes down to her personality, we can find that she's not a good person at all, okay? She's very grouchy and very sloppy, but she's very outgoing and very playful. Now, that's a dangerous combination, okay? Because she will interact a lot, but it is mostly going to be bad interactions because she is so mean. So, yeah. Anyway, let's read her bio. Milan is the conceited heiress of the Billingsworth fortune. However, after squandering much of it on a stuff she never uses, she has been left with nothing but a spoiled personality devoid of work ethic. Can she pull herself together in time to save her social status? Okay, so that is why they don't have a lot of money. That is why she is not looking as good as she should having this much of money. And also, like, I guess this is what this room is meaning, okay? She buys a lot of things that she does not need. I love this touch. Yeah, she pretty much spent the whole money on useless things. I love it. Good, good, good moment of Dusty Wallow, okay? Okay, so this is Dick, her father. Um, he's a fortunate sim, he does not have any wants or fears locked in, that is probably an oversight. Um, also, like, he is giving me, actually both of them, you know, are giving me Asian vibes because of how their eyes are shaped. And he is e even eating an Asian dish, so I guess 100% um, they are Asian inspired, which is cool. Um, he is wearing a necklace and these piercings. I don't know if that's a glitch due to the fact that Rikos could use it some custom content that I do not uh, have. Or maybe this is just his style and that is fine anyway. He is unemployed when the game starts, which is kind of weird, you know, because he is rich. So he probably worked for it, at least I think, I don't know. But he does have some skills, so he have 5 points in logic and 3 points in creativity. He does not have any talent badge, his memories um, are you know, just pretty much um, the same. And uh, um, let me check his relationships panel, so he is friends with um, Frank Lombardi and that is pretty much it for him I guess, um, yeah. Yes, oh, okay, and he is actually a little bit um, nicer than his daughter, but he is still, you know, pretty bad. <laughs> so, yes, uh, that's the Billingsworth family, you know. And, yeah, I love how shady things are looking here in this house. 
I love the room full of expensive crap things that nobody uses but the girl bought anyway because you know I guess she's addicted um, to buying uh, I would if I you know had the money I guess anyway I love her house I love their family also like the whole fashion district is so cool um, yeah really well done and just because Rikowski does that in a lot of his videos I'm going to do it as well I'm going to hang this house I actually hate this house okay so I'm going to hang it um, 10 out of 10 that was such a cool um, work that he did here um, house is looking really great um, and yeah, I like everything here, honestly. It does not even look like The Sims 2, does it? It looks like, um, I don't know, it looks like he, um, used some custom content on the house, but he didn't. That's just the game, you know? There is so many possibilities, uh, within Sims 2, and yeah, I love it. Now let's go back to Hood View and end this video. Okay, so let's talk about community lots for a second. We have the house here, which is, um, and what is the name? A clothing shop, of course. And if you have to ask the price, you can afford it. Get out. So, that, you know, Rikoski is so shady. I love him for that. We have the Spice Lounge, which is, you know, inspired by the Spice Girls, obviously. I love that as well. We have some, uh, we have the Nervosa Cafe, huge prices, tiny portions, they're always in fashion. I love how ironic, shady and chaotic the fashion district is looking. We also have a public school here, yes, the o Oasis Public Pool, oh okay, it is not a public school, <laughs> I read it a public school before. Okay, um, anyway, a pool, we have a Rosal Rosedale Park, uh, park, actually not park, what am I doing? And also this building that is um, supposed to work as an welfare, but you will be needed, needing to download some custom content, some mods actually, to make this work properly. Um, otherwise, this will function just like an office building. Um, you know, uh, Rico's himself said that. Now, you ask me, what is a welfare? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that's what it is um, supposed to be. We have the Glacier Lake Lockout. Oh, okay, so this is like the glacier um, and where it's melted, I guess. I don't know. Once the start of a long ice hiking trail, all that remains is a neglected city park that looks over the newly formed lake. Come to think of it, was the shard disclosed the last time we came here? So I love this touch, I don't think he approached that in his video. Um, let's visit for a second, okay? Yes, so this is actually a beach lot, uh, you know, which only makes sense. And yeah, there is not a lot to it, obviously, because this is like, um, I don't think anybody is supposed to be here, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I wouldn't, right? And I just noticed how every single family from the family bin is here. So also like the Pleasant View town is. So this can be a bummer for some players, but you can just like delete them. Actually, I already deleted um, two of them, the Picasso family and another that I do not remember right now. But anyway, guys, um, this is not a big deal at all. And that was Dusty Wallow. So that was such a cool, creative hood. I love it. Yes, some things I would do differently, such as the memories and the Pleasantville Townies and the family trees. But other than that, Rikosk did an amazing job. Also, I love the builds. Uh, and I'm waiting for a new custom hood made by him because we need more builds like that for Sims 2, okay? I really like this. Um, they are so well done. Also, the division of the hood in four districts, that was such a cool touch. I love it. Um, and yeah, I guess that is pretty much it for the Stiwalo Recalls. If you ever want to make a custom hood with me, I would love. You can take care of the builds 
and the decorations and stuff and I will take care of the sims and the lore and will be the greatest team ever. Anyway guys, that was it for the dust to wallow and today's video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. XOXO, Creuza Darwin and do that shit.